on YouTube. What brought me back here? You guessed it. COVID-19, Corona. It is shaking the world. And before I even start this video, I'd like to send my condolences to the family who has lost anyone um, because of this um, virus. And um, for people who are fighting it, my prayers are with you. I wish you a speedy recovery and for the family, I wish you nothing but peace and just love and blessing. I'm just sending that out there. So yes, I'm going to be talking about COVID-19 and well, about Japan and COVID-19 really. But before I begin, please remember to subscribe, like and also comment what that is only if you want to. So if you see me look down, I'm looking at my book here, my notebook. I have like maybe four points or a couple points and I just want to get them across. And this is my point of view. And this is what I've learned about Japanese or living in Japan uh, for the last eight uh, months and what's going on with COVID-19 and their culture. So the Japanese culture is like a don't ask, don't tell. They withhold information. Um, so I think this is somewhat of a double-edged sword, kind of really, because um, it helps the country not to go out of um, control or chaos, like what I'm seeing going on in the West, like in um, America. And other countries like people are flocking to the supermarket um buying up the toilet paper i don't know why toilet paper though i want to get white toilet paper i'm thinking about food right so it helps to kind of um curve that but it also by withholding information it can help to spread the disease and people not knowing what's really going on so their culture is really it's like don't ask don't tell they tend to hide the unpleasant truth and also um yeah i've been dex warming for the last two weeks or three weeks because they closed school and then um all other major events that include like a lot of people so no olympic games so we know it's serious but don't ask don't tell and um and i think for that it's the reason that Japanese, they don't like to make mistakes or seem like they're making mistakes. They like to be perfect. And we know that that's, we know perfect is, there's no perfection. That's it. Um, so that's one of my viewpoints on it. Um, we have a lot of cases, especially in Tokyo, where I live, my prefecture, Nagasaki. Nagasaki, I think there's about two or three cases and other other prefectures have, have like none, has none. So, but Tokyo, yeah. Um, also, my second point is, I'm thinking that the government is thinking that if they shut down Tokyo, which is the economic hub for Japan, that is going to cripple the country. So is it that it's a fact of, um, it seemed like domestic growth trumps um, health condition. Like we're going to work, we're going to make this money. And if you're sick, we just put you aside or thing like that, which is sad. Because I think if we go a bit on a lockdown, it can help to stop spread um, COVID-19, especially in the city areas. I live in a rural area. So yeah, that's one. Um, two, I'm guessing that they're thinking that we're already clean because Japan is really a clean um, country. I've been here and I've only seen like rubbish on the floor like once or twice. And I've never seen a rubbish bin in public. So 
they're pretty much clean um so being clean is it that they're like we're not concerned with that because we're already clean so it won't spread um also i've noticed that unless you're a gaijin which is foreigner um japanese they don't really touchy feely type of people they don't like to touch or feel but if you're foreigners they, they will touch you that's a whole different story so i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking also they're saying that we're not this touchy feely nation so we won't spread the virus okay then also um what else but the government is lying we know this or with if not lying not given the information like i'm saying but as soon as um like they postponed olympics like the day the day after like 49 cases of um covid19 reported and then just a couple of days ago like a hundred cases so the numbers are increasing and the government mm, i'm not sure what they're doing i am definitely not sure what they're doing because school is still going on it's spring now um but kids are going to school to do like um sporting things extracurriculum that's the pronunciation so they're going to school to do that so it's like nothing is happening um supermarket i'm gonna insert pictures here people are still shopping we still have tissues i'm gonna put it there or somewhere um but yeah it seems to be everyone's keep asking me you're not a lockdown what are you doing you're not quarantined you're not no i'm like guys it's like we're just living here we're just we're just living but will that be the downfall of japan is it that we're gonna see our cases go up we're gonna have our peak when everyone else is coming down but guys just try to see be safe try to um be clean and social distancing and you see i'm already like to myself so you know what let's just pray for human race we need to we need to do something and prayer i'm i'm a firm believer of prayer we need to do something um well until next time it's gonna be a short video so until next time i'll see you again guys peace love and blessings bye